What's going on YouTube? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today, as I've been doing, I'm rereading some books in my collection. And I've mentioned Hellboy a few times over the past, I don't know, three or four months making videos. And uh, it's finally time for me to reread it. And so I reread, I read the first two volumes again, uh, the first two library editions, that is. And uh, I'm going to talk about those a little bit. We're going to look at the actual library editions. If you've sort of been on the fence about them, this might be a nice little reminder that these are incredible books, and you should probably pick them up. I mean, I don't think they're going to go anywhere. I'm pretty sure Dark Horse will continue to print and reprint these books um, until, I don't know, until paper stops being a thing. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see until they stop doing collected editions because it's their, you know, it's one of the greatest books that they've ever created, uh, in my opinion. So a little preview of what's to come in the, in the, in the video. Before we get into things, I just want to tell everyone that the stars have aligned people. The hardcover comic has a comic-specific sponsor, finally. We're very happy to announce our, our, our partnership, our, our sponsorship by OrganicPriceBooks.com, a fantastic, fantastic website and an alternative to in-stock trades, Amazon, wherever it is you may buy your books. Amazing, amazing new releases from the big companies that you all know and love you can pre-order books on there they have thick thick discounts and and we're here to tell you with the link down below you'll get an extra two dollars off your first order in the month of march just click that link or if you want you can use the promo code thc2 the number two at the end and that'll get you an extra two dollars off your first purchase in the month of march check them out it's awesome pre-order things you're looking forward to, pick up something that may be out of stock other places, and make this the new first stop for you. I know it is for me. I know it is for Matt as well. We're very excited for OrganicPriceBooks.com. Check them out. There's a link down in the description below that'll take you. You don't have to worry about the promo code. You just buy whatever it is you need to buy. You'll get the extra THC discount at the end. Now, let's dive into the video. Taking a look at the Hellboy books themselves, we'll talk about the series a little bit, talk about the actual library editions. I've got volume one in front of me, very, very, very nice book. I absolutely love these books. Um, these are hardcovers I'll look at every single time I walk by my collection because they, are, they stand out, the gold on the spine, uh, the way the, the size of them, the way they look, it's fantastic. Um, they're very, very, very classy books, but um, inside continues, you get a very beautiful design. That's what I love. It adds a lot to the books. It adds a lot to a set of books and a reading experience. Granted, you don't spend a lot of time looking at the table of contents, um, but it's still nice to know that so much effort was put into it. It makes the money you put into it so much more uh, valuable. The binding on these books is incredible. You can lay it flat completely pretty much from the start. Um, I just don't want to because, uh, you know, why why, why do that? Um, I like to hold it. It feels nice. The story of Hellboy, this first volume contains basically the first two trade paperbacks um, that collect sort of the, the origin of Hellboy, Seed of Destruction, uh, which is a classic story, one of the, the greatest st stories told in comic books. Mike Mignola with John Byrne, uh, an, an incredible, incredible story uh, sort of introducing you to Hellboy along with Abe Sapien and a few other members of the BPRD um, while also introducing you to the universe and the, and the story that's going to unfold from this amazing, amazing intellectual property. A lot of supernatural elements, a lot of horror, a lot of sort of mythical um, lore used from various, various parts of the world, which is what I, I, I absolutely adore about this book. There are so many different mythological uh, characters used in this from, like I said, various countries in various parts of the world, various superstitions and things like that. The great thing about these books, too, is the, the quality of the coloring is fantastic. I've seen that they sort of continue that with the new Omnibus versions as well. Uh, but these library editions should be available for all time. What I really loved about rereading Hellboy is how fast I fell in love with the universe again and the characters. Um, you know, it's oddly enough, some of the, the stories for me that really win me over with Hellboy are some of the shorter stories and the one shots that you get to see, uh, particularly in volume number two. Uh, they're, they're great. There's still little side stories where you get to see um, sometimes a more personable side of Hellboy as he's dealing with regular civilians or something really, really cute like him as a child. Um, and other times you'll get very serious and dark stories where he has to, you know, 
bring the heat he has to mean business and uh, and it's a very serious issue with some crazy action and fantastic artwork um, which is a lot of what volume two was and volume two was mostly short stories some of them one page two pages some of them you know 40 pages nice deluxe one shots uh, all really really good i really enjoyed this they take place in the past in the future relative to volume one um, and so, so you'll see continuations of the stories that you read in volume, uh, in volume one. But then you'll also see things that led up to it, or parts of Hellboy's past that will also be brought up in subsequent volumes three, four, five, and six, and Hellboy and Hell. Which is the great thing about Hellboy is it jumps all over the place at times. But what's great is seeing all the str strings and threads connect. So here you pretty much get the entire pancake story for free. Enjoy. It's a great little two-page story. Um, and yeah, this is, I really, really enjoyed volume two. The The short stories are fantastic. Um, there's uh, one in particular where he's carrying around a corpse that he needs to bury. A very, very fun issue. And throughout both of these volumes anyway, you get Mike Mignola's artwork. Some of the best art you'll ever see. I think it's what really uh, elevated Hellboy to that incredible legendary level that it's uh, pretty much gotten to at this point in terms of the the comic book industry um, and yeah I, I mean it's so much fun if you're looking for something to start breaking you out of the big two uh, Hellboy is a fantastic character to do that with someone once asked why we I brought this character up once as a non superhero character when it's sort of a superhero character and I can get the similarities but there's no alter ego it's just Hellboy he's just a demon it's the same way that like an Etrigan comic would not be considered a superhero comic and Etrigan has an alter ego that's another thing Hellboy Hellboy doesn't have an alter ego he doesn't wear spandex um, he's just a dude in a, tra a demon in a trench coat uh, who happens to fight supernatural creatures and uh, I mean, he doesn't really, he has a couple of rogues that recur, but he means business for the most part. Um, I don't know. I don't consider Hellboy a superhero title. What do you think? What is Hellboy a superhero title or not? Where is the line on superhero comics? For me personally, um, I think it has to do with sort of a, a costume per se, uh, particularly one with a, an emblem. Uh, one with sort of a, a, a branding to it, if you will, you know, um, usually spandex tight as well. And then also the alter ego, I think, is a big deal. It's a it's a huge, huge common thread in all in most superhero comics. I think that's a big part of it as well. Let, let me know what you think down in the comments below. This is sort of railed, gone off the rails for Hellboy, but you got to look at some beautiful, beautiful Mike Mignola artwork, um, which you can never get enough of. So, uh, that's about it for Hellboy. I absolutely love this series. I cannot recommend it enough. I will be rereading this probably every other year. It's so, so fantastic. So that's all I can say about the first two volumes. I'm I'm already most, most of the way through the third. I love Hellboy so much. I can't wait to keep reading it. Um, it'll be interesting to see again the artists that come in when Mike Mignola is not doing artwork on the title. Uh, and to see all the various other short stories and stuff that we'll get throughout it. I'm, I'm so thrilled. I love it so much. It's such a great universe to jump into. Such a great character and team and set of characters. Ah, I love it so much. Um, if you're looking to get the library editions, please do. It's a great, great format. It's my, uh, probably the best format you'll be able to read Hellboy in ever. Uh, and I think Dark Horse will continue to reprint them. There, there will be times, I'm sure, where like certain volumes will be out of print and very expensive. But hold the line and eventually they'll reprint it and you'll be able to get it for cover price again. Um, thank you all very much for tuning in. If you haven't already checked it out, we do have a Patreon where we do hardcover comic giveaways at the end of every month. We give away at least a hundred US dollars worth of comics or a gift card if you're international. Um, we do also put up our videos there early as well. Three to five days we try, maybe even seven days early if we're lucky. Um, so check that out. Link down in the description below. If you're, Thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Until next time, as always, you stay classy, internet.